Hello Eurovision fans, thank you so much for coming back to my channel, which I just started a few weeks ago. If you want reviews and predictions for Eurovision 2023, as well as videos on Eurovision history, please subscribe. Today I'm going to be rating the Spanish entry for Eurovision 2023, which is Blanca Paloma with Ea Ea. So she actually made it this time, she won Benidorm Fest, she participated last year, but this year was her year. So let's get to rating the song. The first aspect I want to look at is the lyrics, which I think is actually the best part of the song. The lyrics are a bit repetitive, that's true, but they feel like a poem when you read them and when you listen to them. It's about a mother watching over her child from the moon, la luna, even when she's gone. And there are great sentences like, uh, come to my bosom and I will protect you from pain. So the song is really about a mother's love for her child even beyond death. And I think that's an interesting and unusual topic for a Eurovision song, but I really like it. So I'm giving four out of five points for the lyrics. Now the voice. Now this lady can sing. Blanca Paloma is a great singer. She gets a lot of space in the song to show her vocal ability. It's very impressive in parts. I really like the Andalusian elements um, in her voice and also in the song, which makes the song really, really Spanish, feel really Spanish, which I think is a good thing. Um, but there are some parts of the performance where you ask yourself, it's really impressive, but is it good? Because there's especially the final note, for example, there's the first two seconds where you think, wow, she can really sing. And then the last seconds you think, this is a bit irritating, this is a bit long. So the question is, is it really necessary to do that? It adds to the drama of the song, but I don't, I feel irritated at some points. I'm sorry to say. So for the vocal ability, she gets four out of five points. She would have gotten five, but the ir irritating part is just too much for me to give four marks. Now, the personality of the lead singer and the way she um, performs, she is very professional. You can see that in the performance. She knows how to play with the camera. There's this one point where she looks at her hand and then looks up at the camera and it's just really effective and very impressive. Um, it also adds to the mood of the song and she's also a beautiful woman. Um, but she also comes across, there's something missing in the whole song. There's something missing that doesn't make me enter the feeling of the song. And I think it's partly the way she performs it. So, um, overall I'm giving three out of five points for personality. Now the two most important parts, the performance. I think it's very artsy, it's well staged, there's a lot of drama that comes across, the drama of the song. It almost feels like a meeting of witches in a way, the way the backing singers are dancing and moving is very mystical and witchcrafty and it fits the mood of the song. I don't know what it has to do with the lyrics to be honest, but it does fit the mood of the song. So in total, I'm giving three out of five points because it's a bit overdramatic at some points, I feel like. Okay, now the most important part is the song. I do like this genre. I really like Andalusian influence, Spanish music, traditional Spanish music. So this should be right up my alley. The problem is this song, I've listened to it a lot also to prepare for this video. It doesn't give me a lot. There is no melody. There is nothing that hooks me in. Um, it's more an atmosphere and a mood, which I can appreciate. But it's when it comes to being a song, I don't think there's a lot of there there, to be honest. Um, it could have been better with like an electronic beat, maybe make it a bit more Rosalia or having a bit more of a melody within the drama. So I think there's not much of a song there. So unfortunately, Spain, I have to give one out of five points only. Now for the overall rating, I'm weighing the song 
and the performance way more than the other. So don't be surprised. And we get to an overall points and stars of two and a half stars for Spain. Blanca Paloma, Ea, Ea. And now I want to talk about its chances in Eurovision. First, usually I talk about whether it will qualify or not. Spain is in the big five, so it will be in the final, which is good, I think, because I'm not sure that this song would have qualified with only Televote in the semifinals. And my prediction for Eurovision is not great, unfortunately. I think top 20 is what it can hope for. Uh, it could do well with the juries. I can't really see um, it not doing, uh, getting at least a few points. Maybe it will do amazingly with the juries. I can't predict that. But with the televote, there's just nothing that hooks you in. There's no melody, no catchiness, nothing. Um, because the song is missing, I think. So Spain will fall after its third place last year, probably a bit in the ranking unfortunately tell me what you think do you think it's an amazing song and i'm completely wrong or is it even worse than i said <laughs> then uh, please comment and let me know what you think of spain's eurovision entry 2023 if you want more reviews ratings and videos on eurovision history please subscribe to my channel and see you soon bye bye